next item up for auction is an embalming knife from the tomb of King Balassi of Sumeria. 500,000. Now back off, you little brat. Wow, Miss Keen. That's a lot of money for someone like you. Two million dollars! What makes a company worth paying nearly three times its last valuation in one single deal? NVIDIA just spent $20 billion to secure its future in the $250 plus billion dollar AI inference market. So what does this deal really change? And why is everyone suddenly talking about AI inference? NVIDIA already controls nearly 90% of the AI training chip market which means most large AI models today depend on NVIDIA GPUs. From popular chatbots to advanced self-driving research, NVIDIA hardware is deeply embedded everywhere. At first glance, spending $20 billion on Grok looks unnecessary for a company already this dominant. But the AI world is changing direction very fast. Training a model happens once, but using that model happens every single day. Every chatbot reply, every AI search result, and every recommendation depends on inference. This daily usage creates far more demand than training ever will. That shift in usage is what makes this deal far more important than it looks on the surface. What is AI inference and why does it matter so much? AI training is the phase where models learn from massive datasets, but AI inference is when those models actually work for users. Training might take weeks or months, but inference happens billions of times every day across apps and platforms. Every user question, voice command, or AI suggestion triggers an inference request instantly. As more people use AI tools daily, inference demand grows at a much faster pace than training demand. Speed becomes critical because users expect instant answers. Even a small delay can make an AI system feel slow or broken. That is why inference has become a $250 billion market, larger than many entire tech industries. NVIDIA GPUs are incredibly powerful, but they were not originally designed for inference workloads. These chips were first built for graphics and later adapted for AI training. Training benefits from massive parallel power, which GPUs handle extremely well. Inference is different because it focuses on quick, single response tasks. GPUs can struggle with low latency responses in real-time situations. This becomes noticeable in chatbots, voice assistants, and live AI tools. As real-time AI usage exploded, this limitation became clearer. That gap in inference performance is exactly where Grok found its opportunity. Grok did not try to fight NVIDIA in the GPU space. Instead, it built a completely different chip called the Language Processing Unit, designed only for inference. This chip ignores graphics and training workloads entirely. Most traditional chips store data outside the processor, which slows things down. Grok keeps all critical model data inside the chip itself. This design allows Grok chips to deliver 500 to 700 tokens per second, far higher than standard GPUs. Typical GPUs average 50 to 150 tokens per second during inference. That speed gap creates a noticeably smoother AI experience. This is why Grok gained attention so quickly. In AI applications, speed shapes how users feel about the product. A chatbot that replies instantly feels intelligent and reliable. A chatbot that pauses feels broken, even if the answer is accurate. Real-time systems like voice assistants and translation tools depend heavily on low latency. Autonomous systems cannot afford slow decision-making. In these cases, raw power matters less than response time. This is where Grok's inference-first design started looking dangerous. Not because it could replace NVIDIA GPUs, but because it could outperform them in specific tasks. NVIDIA recognized this risk early. Just months before the deal, Grok was valued at around $7 billion. NVIDIA's $20 billion price shocked many observers. This was not about immediate profits or revenue growth. It was about protecting NVIDIA's future position in inference. If Grok had been acquired by Google, Amazon, or Microsoft, NVIDIA would face serious competition. Those companies could use Grok's technology to weaken NVIDIA's dominance. 
paying a higher price now prevented a larger threat later. In technology, defensive moves often cost more than aggressive ones. This deal is a clear example of that reality. NVIDIA avoided calling this transaction a full acquisition on paper. Instead, it was described as a licensing-style agreement. This approach helps reduce regulatory attention. NVIDIA is already under close watch by antitrust authorities. A traditional acquisition could trigger years of investigation. Most of Grok's engineers will now work inside NVIDIA's ecosystem. The core technology effectively moves under NVIDIA's control. Grok Cloud remains separate officially, at least for now. Structurally, this is legal engineering at a very high level. Grok was founded by Jonathan Ross, a highly respected chip architect. He previously worked on Google's TPU, one of the first serious alternatives to NVIDIA GPUs. This background gave Grok immediate technical credibility. Designing custom AI chips is extremely difficult and expensive. Ross had already proven it could be done successfully. Grok became his second major validation. Now that expertise moves directly into NVIDIA. There is a strong sense of irony in this shift. A former challenger is now helping NVIDIA build its future. Does this mean GPUs are dead? GPUs are far from obsolete in the AI world. Grok chips cannot replace GPUs for training large models. They also hold much less memory than high-end GPUs. Serving very large models requires many Grok chips working together. This increases complexity and limits flexibility. GPUs remain unmatched for massive parallel workloads and training tasks. Grok excels only in fast inference scenarios. The future is not about one chip replacing another. It is about specialized hardware working together. NVIDIA now controls both sides of that equation. This deal makes competition much harder for other chip companies. AMD and Intel were already struggling to match NVIDIA's ecosystem. NVIDIA now offers training, inference, networking, and software together. That creates a powerful end-to-end -end advantage. AI chip startups also feel increased pressure. Raising funding becomes harder when NVIDIA can simply acquire competitors. Investors now expect exits instead of long-term independence. Companies like Cerebrus and Samba Nova must rethink their strategies. The AI chip market is becoming more consolidated. This raises serious questions about long-term competition. NVIDIA was able to afford this deal because of its enormous cash reserves. The AI boom caused NVIDIA's revenue to explode after 2023. Tens of billions of dollars are sitting on its balance sheet. Instead of letting that money stay idle, NVIDIA is deploying it strategically. Grok is not the only investment NVIDIA has made, but it may be the most important one. Previous acquisitions like Mellanox transformed NVIDIA's data center business. Grok could play a similar role for inference. History suggests this approach has worked before. NVIDIA's next major AI platform is expected around 2026. This new architecture is designed with inference performance in mind. Grok's ideas could be integrated directly into NVIDIA's future chips. Instead of selling Grok chips separately, NVIDIA may embed the concepts internally. This could reduce latency and improve power efficiency. Real-time AI performance would improve significantly. Training and inference would coexist within one platform. This gives NVIDIA unmatched control over AI infrastructure. Few competitors can match this level of integration. AI is moving beyond research labs into everyday life. Billions of inference requests happen every single day. Smartphones, cars, offices, and homes now rely on AI responses. Inference demand grows faster than training demand. While inference margins may be lower, volumes are massive. This balances overall revenue growth. Companies that control inference infrastructure gain long-term advantage. NVIDIA positioned itself early for this shift. The inference economy is no longer theoretical. It is already here. What happens next? More AI chip acquisitions are likely to follow. Big technology companies prefer buying proven solutions instead of building from scratch. Governments are paying closer attention to AI infrastructure. Chips are now considered strategic national assets. Regulatory pressure will increase globally. Innovation will continue at a rapid pace. Inference will define the next phase of AI growth. NVIDIA has taken a strong early lead. Competitors must now respond quickly or fall behind. This deal was not just about buying a startup. 
It was about securing long-term control over AI performance. NVIDIA effectively bought time, speed, and future relevance. The true impact will not be visible immediately. It will appear as AI systems feel faster everywhere. User expectations will rise permanently. Competitors will struggle to match this integration. The AI landscape has shifted quietly but significantly. The remaining question is who can still keep up now? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.